Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Seriously, how is this possible? How is it even possible? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at it and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yeah, good to go. Well, the truth of the matter is, Shelly and Fraser Price's entire track and field career borders on the realm of the impossible. Um, you know, if, if I were to tell you the story of Shelly and Fraser Price, um, you know, in a fictitious book, you would say this is not possible and are plausible. And the truth is, her 2023 season may not have gone according to plan. Because you know that great saying, plan that your plan will not go according to plan. But the fact of the matter is, what Shelly and Fraser Price has done, how is this even possible? I mean, there are several elements to this that one has to really address. And I don't hear anyone else really talking about this. So, you know, we here at Peter Lloyd World, we tend to talk about the stuff that sometimes no one else talks about. So, let's look at Shelly and Fraser Price 2023. How is this possible? Shelly and Fraser Price closed out her 2023 season women's 100 meters with a new season's best of 10.77 coming third behind Sharika Jackson, who came second in 10.72, and Shakari Richardson, who is now the new um, world champion in the women's 100 meters with 10.65. In the semi-finals of said World Championships in Women's 100 Beaters, she ran 10.89 to win, advancing, of course, to the finals. Set. They're away first time. Shelly Ann Fraser Price with a little bit to do. Tamari Davis going well. But now the mercurial Jamaican coming into her running. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, 10. She opened her Budapest campaign with a 11.01 run in the heats. Now, many don't speak about the fact that this World Championships Women's 100 meters is the fastest in recorded history, meaning World Championship history. Shakira Richardson's new meet record of 10.65 is the fastest any woman has ever ran in the finals of the women's 100 meters at World Championships, with the second place run by Sharika Jackson being the fastest second place run ever ran in the history of World Championships, and Shelly and Fraser Price's 10.77 seasons best is also the third fastest third place run in the history of World Championships. Fraser Price said this after her run or final or run in the finals give it a go i'm feeling good apart from my knee i'm feeling good and i'm excited you know um it's almost like i continue to push the barrier of what is possible and my my friend has always said <laughs> i am special i said okay and i said all right then thank you but i believe that god has done such a remarkable job in my life you know to be able to stand in here at 36 having another 100 meter medals to add to the title you know i, I know a lot of 36 year old athletes who decided to call it but here am i you know so i'm really grateful to that now i really needed to note what she said in that interview now of course she had ran 10.83 at the meeting de madrid earlier in the, well just a few weeks before world championships Egyes pályát érdemes nézni, ott a világbajnoki címvédő jelen pillanatban vezet, és hát elég jónak tűnik ez a mozgás, nem lesz itt senki, aki majd megszorongatja. Az időt kell nézni, ez jó futásnak tűnik, 10.83. Now this of course is my two cents. Listen, Shelly and Fraser Price in that interview 
host the 100 meter finals at world championships in budapest early this year said three things that are really important the first thing she brought up i'm going to talk about is her age it seems to be impossible but somehow look she's 36 years of age and she's just running faster and faster um she had a season where she was injury she had an injury with her knee that's a terrible injury to have at 36 it takes longer for you to recover she basically ran two 100 meters then when went to um world championships and ran three 100 meters ended up running a season's best of 10.77 the third the fastest third place run in the history of world championships by the way um and and after five races was able with an injured knee was able to do that she came back in the heats of the women's four by 100 meters in the anchor leg running uh 10.88 in her 100 meter split she was injured imagine if she was at her best and i i know that i keep bringing this up but she, she's 36 freaking years old that is not supposed to happen i mean i don't think you really understand if you are about 40 get up and run run up run 10 meters and tell me how you feel what she's accomplishing is it's not supposed to be possible people you are not supposed to get faster the older you get which raises the second thing that she said in that interview her friend says she is she's special she, she's very special it could be because she's diminutive she has not had many serious um injury issues uh maybe the just the foundation of her as an athlete was excellent but remember, she has ran her fastest times since about 34. She, I think at age 34, she ran 10.63. Uh, 10.6, her, her season, her personal best of 10.60. Last year, she ran seven sub 10.7s. That's just, no one else has ever done that. And after five races, she ran 10.77 just five 100 meter races we're not talking about the, the one 200 meter she ran and a few other stuff she must be special people because i know of no athlete who has done this no other athlete i think the closest might be allison felix and allison felix did not get faster she maintained this should not be possible the third thing she raised she said it's almost as if i continue to push the barriers of what is possible and i don't think you understand we're not just talking about figuratively we're talking about scientifically what she's doing at 36 is seemingly impossible had she not got that injury i can't i honestly think she probably would have won world championships if she was able to run five races five open i think she opened with 10.84 in her first of the five 100 meter races and close with 10.77 i don't think you have graph she's 36 this is not supposed to be possible which other athletes are you aware of who has ever done this i think the closest might be the great legendary merlin of arty who was also in a good way quotes in air quotes a freak of nature what shannon fraser price is doing it's not supposed to be possible so the truth is she did have a successful 2023 season maybe not the one she wanted but it was relatively pretty successful and therefore paris is a serious issue if she remains injury free next year <laughs> it's going to be serious but this of course is my two cents now don't forget to hit subscribe button hit no channel bell hit the like button remember your royals kings and queens bless up